Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me on today's episode. On today's episode, it's going to be a quick episode on how to fix a vaporizer or humidifier. I have a sick little one at home, and we went to try to get this vaporizer plugged in and working, and it's not putting out any steam. Now, there's not a lot to these vaporizers to make them put out steam, so it's usually a pretty, pretty simple fix. They just need to be cleaned out on the inside. So we're going to go ahead, take this apart, and see what's wrong. The first thing you want to do is make sure it's not plugged in. After that, we're going to go ahead and take the special little Torx bit that I got here and start taking this apart. Let me show you what this bit looks like. Now this is what a little Torx bit looks like. You can get this at any hardware store, so it's not an uncommon type of fastener. Now we're going to go ahead and take this Torx bit and take these couple of fasteners out to take the top off. Now generally what happens when the humidifier quits working is mineral deposits are formed on the uh, heating element rods down in the water which cause it to be insulated. If my guess is correct then I probably have a pretty good mineral deposit on those rods down in the water. So let's get this thing taken apart and see what exactly is going on here. Well that was less than graceful but I got my screws and I got my top so I'm gonna put them over there pull this up out and oh yeah Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely have some heavy mineral deposits on here, you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and chip these mineral deposits off. Pull this up out of here. This here. Oh, they're just falling right off. Now, you want to be careful with these rods. These rods are fragile. You don't want to unscrew them if you don't have to. Oh, there's some of the mineral deposits right there. I'll clean that out. All you have to do is just break this mineral deposit off. You're just going to scratch it off with your fingers. If you don't have to take these rods off, you really don't want to have to. But, just get these all scratched off. Oh, wow. And what these, what these mineral deposits on there do is it insulates the rods. It keeps the rods from conducting electricity one from the other. And when it's not conducting electricity, it's not heating the water and causing it to steam and vaporize out. So, that is a problem. Now one thing you can do to help prevent this mineral deposit from forming on your vaporizer and having to take it apart again in the future is you can use distilled water. Distilled water doesn't have the minerals and stuff in the water that causes it to crust up on here and uh, insulate the, the heating rods. Now the mineral deposit's all cleaned off of the heating rods, we can go ahead and put this back together. I'll slide that in here. That down the hole. Line up our screw holes. And we'll put the screws back in the holes, get them all lined up, and then we're going to tighten this down. Once these screws are tight, we should be all set. Okay, now with the last screw fastened and tightened down, this is all set and ready to go. We should be able to add water, plug it in, and have some nice steam coming out of there for the little sick one. Anyway, I gotta get running. If you guys have found this to be useful little tip and trick, and you like some other tips and tricks that I have, click the subscribe button right over here. It'll give you some access to some of the other videos that I've created that are, gonna, uh, are designed to help us be able to save some money, not have to go buy another $50 item at the store when it's a pretty simple and easy repair that we can do on our own. Also, I've included some other links over here that you're more than welcome to go ahead and click on. Those links are some other videos that might just help you save some time, money, and, well, maybe some frustration, too, uh, with having things that aren't working or not working right. You don't have to hire somebody else to fix it, and you can take care of it on your own and save some money. Anyway, i got to get running. I've enjoyed talking to you guys, and I hope to see you soon on my next episode. Until then, bye-bye.